What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Z Toys, and this is an Ultra Z News Special Report. Tamashi is killing it at the Tokyo Comic Con this weekend, a festival that's come out of nowhere and is possibly the biggest toy show of the year. Now, I'm not going to be talking about everything that Tamashi's doing. I'm only talking about SH Monster Arts in this particular Ultra Z News. And that's what this special report is all about. You know, guys, my, you know, my channel name is Ultrazilla, so, um, if something major happens with Godzilla stuff, I'm gonna try to jump on it. This is really major. They've announced the, uh, King of the Monsters, Godzilla King of the Monsters. That is the forthcoming movie, uh, the second movie in the legendary Monsterverse. Uh, they've, uh, we were already known there's gonna be Rodan, King Ghidorah, and Mothra, and now we have the designs for them shown off as SH Monsters. What an awesome, awesome reveal. This is phenomenal. Uh, director Michael Doherty, uh, is, uh, on site there. He did a big presentation, and on Twitter, the dude is a class act saying, you know, like, he uh, did like camcorder videos of uh, his like Shogun Warriors Godzilla, which I had as well. And um, you know, like he hopes these SH Monster Arts, you know, create that same feeling with kids today. And you know what, man? Like that is you know, awesome. That's a really classy thing to say. It's really really cool. And you know, like. My son, like, he's four and he enjoys this stuff, you know, like, and, um, I can't wait to see his reactions to a lot of these toys. They look cool. Um, I'm really stoked. Let's start with Godzilla, and it looks like a nice, it's not too far, too different from 2014. You can't stray that much, but there is, like, differences, you know, in the figure here, it's like, it's a little more what seems accurate the colorization looks really good i really like the texture from what i'm seeing and the head the head the head the head looks spot on in my opinion thus far from what i've seen we haven't seen like a ton but it looks like it could like look straight up in the air doing that like iconic already iconic you know shot of uh atomic breath into the air that he does in that first trailer it's pretty cool you know, here's what we had before. We had the SH Monster Arts from 2014 and the NECA. And, like, these dudes are cool. I mean, the SH Monster Arts catches a lot of flack, but, like, I, I do like it. Um, a lot of folks love the, you know, the NECA one, and I do as well. It's really cool, but I really like this one as well. But it is an upgrade on this. This one is, like, very... It had something else going on, for sure. So, to see it... I had to bring these guys in. Um, and... I I might be doing some big G14 review thing with these guys and everything. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm so hyped right now. Speaking of hype, let's talk about Rodan. Oh, my God. This is, like, the perfect homage to, like, each generation of Rodan that we had. Show is in here. Um, Heisei is in here. And definitely uh, Millennium with the... Final Wars representation. I see a little bit of each of those Rodans in this piece, and it looks incredible. Now, for all of these guys, um, well, maybe not Godzilla, because Godzilla looks fully articulated, and Godzilla will be going up for pre-order, and I'm here in King Ghidorah as well, in January, I think January 9th, uh, so stay tuned for more info on that. Uh, but King Ghidorah and Rodan and Mothra, they all, like, are, uh, I don't think all their articulation is done. There doesn't seem to be any articulation in any of the wings yet, and some of the legs. So, but Rodan looks incredible. I love it. I love it. The head is so perfect. It's so beautiful. Now, the one that's getting, you know, some mixed reaction, uh, and we already know this from what we saw of some of the design work, is Mothra, because it's a huge departure from the Mothra we know and love, but it was always gonna be. I mean, Godzilla is a huge departure, isn't it? Um, 
you know, so, like, that god, uh, that Mothra is incredible looking, um, to me, I like it a lot, you know, like, um, I really, really do, it is a really nice piece, um, it's more bug-like, it's much more bug-like, and there is moths that look like this, you know, um, so I don't mind it, I, I don't mind this variation of moth here, it's more like adept to being a, uh, a fighting Mothra, like, I, that's always the thing with Mothra, was like, doesn't stand well in battle, this Mothra looks like it can, and I like it, I like the long legs, I like how it looks in the front with the legs, the head looks interesting, I'm really stuck, and then it's got really awesome giant classic wings, and uh, to me that is so perfect. And to end it off here, uh, King Ghidorah is, wow, um, I, I think this is the best King Ghidorah I've ever seen. Uh, I love King Ghidorah, and, but I have to say, I've been a little bored with King Ghidorah as of late, so, so overuse all these, you know, Mothra as well, not, not as much Rodan. But, um, these designs hype me up, and King Ghidorah looks amazing, it looks like the most awesomest most regal dragon ever, you know, I absolutely adore it, I love the wingspan, it's held up by like three stands up here, all over the place, uh, in these pics, and that's funny, I, I don't know if it's gonna hold its own weight, it, those wings are just ginormous, and they're on like smaller hinge first, first and uh, ooh, I don't wanna knock down my thing, <laughs> and they just get bigger, and it's just like awesome looking, I really love the heads, uh, they look really cool. The body is interesting because it really evokes uh, a, like a classic, like D and D. Shout out Kenneth, you um, dragon. Um, yeah, it's true. It's it's so it's damn true. It, it just like looks really um, dragon like, and I appreciate that, especially the heads with the big big horns. It's like right out of like Game of Thrones and whatnot. Um, you know, just. And that's what King Ghidorah should look like. It should evoke the, like, the king of the dragons. And I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I'm so hyped, guys. It's like, you know, one thirty in the morning here as I'm recording this. And I'm wide awake. I have this. This is awesome news. These look amazing. Not just for the figures, but for the movie. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I really like Michael Doherty so, already. So, perfect storm here of stuff going on. SH Monster Arts, nice little lineup there uh, for 2019 already. I'm not sure if this is the full lineup for 2019. It might be, you know, judging by the output we've had the last couple of years, but totally fine with that if that's it. Uh, I hope there's more. I hope there's some show of stuff. I always love show stuff. Um, but, you know, for now, getting these four to start, perfect. I love it. That's my thoughts on them. So cool. Really great. Uh, speculation on prices. Uh, I could say Mothra and Rodan, like, you gotta put a cat their wingspan into, into it. And uh, the fact that they are... Um, they no longer do, like, cheap pricing on SH Monster Art. So I, I'm gonna say the base price of them is gonna be 70 And that could be anywhere between 70 and 100 bucks. Godzilla's probably going to start around 90 and could be anywhere between 90 and 120 And King Ghidorah, this is a, like, I think this is a huge piece. A really, really huge piece. Um, and I gotta say, it's got, I mean, that's, the, the absolute lowest I could possibly see it starting at is 190 And it'll probably, it could possibly go up to like 220 So, it is what it is. I, I, I mean, those are the pricings for the figures these days. And judging by what we've had before and what these look like and what they're gonna be, it's gonna it's gonna be up there, guys. So be prepared. Start saving, uh, Shima fans. It's it's gonna be pricey. So, but they look like they're gonna be worth it. Hopefully, production looks as good as these. That's it. That's my Ultra Z breaking news report. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts on all of this stuff. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.